Imagine you have a product and you want it to react to a very specific keyword and you want to sell millions of it all over the world. The problem, you don't speak French or Chinese or Spanish. You could hire lots of people on a platform similar to Mechanical Turk to collect the data, but that requires a large upfront investment. Enter Generative AI. In this video, I'll show you how to use Edge Impulse to get all the data samples that you need train the model and deploy it to extremely tiny Cortex M0 Plus based Arduino RP2040. Magical stuff. Let's jump straight to action. We're going to use OpenAI Whisper Text-to-Speech to generate lifelike spoken audio. It has multiple languages supported with a few different voices to choose. Create a new project in Edge Impulse. We will have to use Enterprise. You can sign up for a trial for that or use Protier. Use Whisper Keyword System. After that, go to Data Acquisition tab and choose Synthetic Data. We're going to use Whisper Synthetic Voice Generator. Imagine for a moment that I don't speak Chinese. And uh, we're going to pick that language. We're going to use the following labels. Stop, forward, turn right, and turn left. So it's going to be something like a mobile robot platform. Let's pick the stop as the first one. Change that to thin. Set the label to stop. And generate 50 samples of that. So let's Let's leave all the other parameters on default for now. You can listen to the samples as they come in to check if these are good quality. Ting. Ting. All right, that's actually much better than me. And let's repeat the process for all other labels. One very important thing that we should not forget is that we also need some sort of background or unknown class to make sure that the model not only can classify the keywords, but also can understand when there is no keywords. I'm going to generate another 20 of random Chinese words, something like a cat, dog, get up, and so on and so forth. All right, and as a finishing touch, I'm going to use the 11 Lab Synthetic Audio Generator to generate some of the background sound of an office or street. We have about four minutes of data, and that should be enough because we're going to utilize a very nifty trick available in Edge Impulse, which is transfer learning model for keyword spotting. Let's go to Impulse Design, resample it to 16 kilohertz because this is the frequency we have on the device and choose MFE as the DSP processing block. And then for learning block, we're going to use transfer learning keyword spotting. Save the impulse. Since we are going to use the transfer learning, we'll have to leave MFE parameters on default. If you use the regular classifier, convolutional 2D neural network for keyword spotting, and you want to fit your impulse into very constrained device, then you can play around with the frame stride, filter number, and NFFT lengths to decrease the processing time of DSP. After generating features, let's go to transfer learning keyword spotting. And we're going to leave all the parameters on the default except for validation set size. We're going to set it to 20%, which is very reasonable. Also for the model choice, since we have relatively small data set, I recommend you use mobile net v1 alpha 0.1. All right, so we got 95% accuracy and the model has some confusion between forward and stop, which in Chinese are Qianjing and Qing, but 95% is very good for our toy example and we definitely can get better by using more data. So I'm going to do the model testing and it's really important to mention that in actual real world production example, you'd be mixing the real world data and synthetic data. And for the testing, you want to test on the real world data. The big advantage here, of course, is that if you have the synthetic data, then you do not need as much of real world data. All right, so we have test accuracy close to 90%, which still holds. 
But before we deploy our model to RP2040, we're going to do a quick sanity check on the computer. Tian Jing. Tian. Tian. Yu Zhuan. Zhuo Zhuan. Yu Zhuan. Tian Jing. Tian. 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 Tian Jing. Yu Zhuan. Zhuo Zhuan. Let's go to Deployment tab, and I will choose Raspberry Pi RP2040 firmware to try things out on the real hardware, which I already have connected right here to my USB port. Let's download the firmware. Okay, now we have the zip archive. Let's unzip it and drag and drop this UF2 file to RP2040. Great. From here, we'll be able to simply run Edge Impulse, Run Impulse, and I'm going to also run it in continuous mode. Ting. Qian Jing. Ting. Qian Jing. Yo Zhuan. The important caveat when deploying to the devices like RP2040 is that you add some of audio data recorded with the microphone of that particular board to the training data and testing data to make sure that you account for some peculiarities of those microphones. The possibilities of generative AI for edge devices are endless. Take a look at some other experiments that we did recently at Edge Impulse. For example, distilling some knowledge of GPT-40 into a much smaller model and running it on a microcontroller.